it's just locking in more so in the film room, mm-hmm. just knowing I'm doing, knowing checks, knowing motions and personnel. Speaking of personnel, they got a group of really big receivers. Yeah. Do you feel like physicality is going to be important this week against them? Yeah, for sure. Just like last week, uh, uh, Jamal Custis, uh, pretty big wide out. You know, that's that's what I was recruited for, though. You know, big corner just to take away their biggest receiver or biggest target. Who stands out to you, I guess, about this Notre Dame offense from what you've seen so far or what you know about them? Uh, really just their size. I mean, just uh, I'll probably be on both of them, 83, 81. Yeah, size is their, their, their biggest thing. The wide receivers look like tight ends. Yeah, for sure, yeah. That's a, it's hard to, uh, as far as safety's personnel, you know, trying to check out motion and stuff, trying to see which one's a tight end, which one's a wide out. Are you maybe this team's tallest cornerback? I mean, I think a few of you are listed at six foot, but. I mean, uh, yeah, no, nah, yeah, I, yeah, I'm really tall. <laughs> so how much do you embrace that, that role of sort of guarding that biggest dude on the other team in, in the passing game? Oh, uh, everybody around here knows I embrace it. I love it. I love it. I, I tell Coach Bates every week, just put me on that biggest guy or the main target. Is that something you did in high school too, or did you more regard the quickest guy given that? Uh, yeah, I really did both. There wasn't like a huge wide out I got this slot or the biggest guy. Yeah, back to high school a little bit. Didn't Notre Dame, they kind of make a push for you towards the they end did, of it? They did, yep. They offered me about uh, four weeks for signing day. What made you uh, stick with Pitt? Uh, you know, just, I don't know, just love Pitt. I'm here. <laughs> I mean, every word, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you when you ask Coach Bates to put you in the biggest guy every week, does he always oblige to put you in the biggest guy? Uh, I think he will after last week. <laughs> I think he will. As a player, is that Notre Dame tradition sort of thing make a game like this any more special? Uh, yeah, I know. I got a hometown boy I play uh, football with, uh, C.J. Holmes. He's actually at Penn State now. He was at Notre Dame from uh, high school. You know, the coach there is strong, so I, I'm excited to play at their stadium. Were you upset when they overturned your safety the other day, or was it okay because it was still fourth down? <laughs> I mean, it was all about just getting the defense off the field. I was, I did, I wanted the safety though. I did. <laughs> yeah, for you guys in the in the DB room, when you see a guy like Coleman come up with the huge play at the end of the game, I, it, is that just you know sort of build the confidence for everybody that hey, we can go two, three deep, you know, every position, and we got guys who can make plays. Of course, of course, it's being being ready. Uh, I, I tweeted out. I mean, just you know. That's the prime example of being ready and taking advantage of every opportunity you're given. You know, no, usually a, a position that when coaches say they quote ride the hot hand, that's like a running back or something like that. Right, right. said he's basically doing that at cornerback with that with this team. I mean, do you like that as, as a guy who's at that position where it's sort of like if you're playing well, we keep you in. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it, it works in your favor when you're hot. <laughs> so uh, I mean, you just gotta. But it gets guys going again. It makes guys want to, you know drive routes, be 100% effort on every every down. So I know it's not exactly the history of Penn State or West Virginia, but are you aware, since you know no one on this team was really here last time you guys went to Notre Dame, but are you aware of like the history between Pitt and Notre Dame, all the recent close battles, overtime games? Nah, I'm not, I'm not aware. I just know this is another game we got to go out and win. Anything else for Jason? You maybe have the most ink on this team, Jason? Most ink? Nah, not even close. Bryce Harborough. <laughs> no, Bryce has the most? <laughs> for sure. Not even close. <laughs>